Hello, this is Tola from Trifo Productions with another Blender quick tip. And in this quick tip, I'm going to show you how you can properly join vertices on your mesh. And I'm using screencast keys uh, because a, a subscriber recommended that. And I was actually wanting to do that before, but he just reminded me that I should do that. His name is uh, Freehan or Freedown, something like that. But yes, a great tutorial, but please use something like screencast keys to display the keys you're using. So that's what I've done, and so you guys can follow a lot easier, but I'll still dictate what I'm doing with the keyboard and with the mouse. But what I mean by uh, joining vertices properly is let's say you have a mesh like this, where you have this big hole that you've modeled in your mesh, and you've gone so far in your model to the point that all your undo steps, if you've surpassed that, you can't go back to redo it by undoing, but by pressing Control Z, you have to do this manually. So what you would have to do is go to the uh, vert select mode, and then choose a vertice. Let's go into one so we can see see it straight on, and press E to extrude, and then left click to accept that. Um, uh, to accept that uh, change and then let's uh, activate our move gizmo let's pull this down along the z-axis and then we're going to do the same thing with these two sides also so left click there E to extrude and this time pull it on the x-axis in the to the right in the direction of the right same thing on the left side or the right side excuse me can just uh, select that, select mouse click, E to extrude, left click to accept that change and pull this over. Now this keyboard shortcut can be, this technique actually can be used in Blender 2.79, it's just a basic uh, concept and once again this is for beginners. If you've modeled something and you find out that you've gone so far that you can't have, you don't have any more undo steps, you can do this to uh, resolve the issue. And let's make sure that we zoom in quite a bit. Hold down your shift, your shift button on your mouse or your keyboard. Hold down your left middle mouse button and pull down. Sorry for all these mistakes. I'm just pretty much out of it. I've been coughing pretty much all morning, taking Benadryl, so I'm pretty much just out of it. But I've got to keep pressing on. So we're going to press C for a circle select. Scroll up on our mouse wheel so we can select all these new vertices that we created. And then press your left mouse button down once and then right click to accept that change and the next thing you have to do is press alt m and from the pop-up menu you have all these options and just press at center and there we go there it is it joins all these vertices at the center now i know last a few weeks ago i did a tutorial about filling in holes in your mesh but the way that uh, worked is that it only works if you have one straight line of vertices missing or one straight line of faces missing on your mesh. With this, if you have more than uh, one column of faces missing, here there's two, that technique's not going to work. Let me see if I could demonstrate that. I'm going to <coughs> go to Edge Select, click on that. Um, oh yeah, that's my children. They're <laughs> trying to get in again. <coughs> so I've got to kind of speed this up. Um, so we're going to left click again and then press F. F, 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 F. And for some weird reason, I don't know why this is, but now it's working. <laughs> I mean, this is just something else. And that's one thing you have to really learn about Blender. I don't know if it's with any other software, but sometimes with Blender, if you do one process and you do it the second time again, you get a, a different result. Because the first time I did this, all that came up were just slants going diagonally across the mesh and didn't fit at all. But for some weird reason, I'm doing it again and it's now it's working. But like I said before, if this does not work, if the um, F selection does not work on your mesh, this other technique that I just showed you about extruding the vertices and connecting them with Alt-M, do that method because that method works also. So once again, this is Toll from Trifold Productions with another Blender quick tip on connecting vertices in Blender 
a different way. And once again, thank you guys for subscribing. Really appreciate it. And thank you guys for who will still subscribe in the future. And I'll see you guys on the next one. All right, adios.